welcome my dear students colleagues and uh, subscribers uh, we have discussed uh, a number of growth theories in this playlist and after discussing all those theories if we don't discuss the joseph schumter's theory of economic uh, growth and development then it would be injustice uh, with the growth theories so in today's uh, discussion i'll uh, analyze the growth theory put forwarded by uh, schumter uh shoot joseph schumter was a uh, one of the most influential economists of the 20th century who was renowned for his brilliant and unorthodox insight into the nature of uh, capitalism two renowned economists namely paul samuelson and uh, robert salo who are both nobel laureate uh, were the leading economist and uh, they were students of uh, uh, schumter the theory of economic development was one of the schumter's most seminal contributions to the understanding of economics that made him famous uh, schumter poses a fundamental question why does economic development proceed cyclically rather than evenly so in this video uh, we will analyze this question according to schumter economics is constantly transformed by its internal forces uh, these forces are the circular flow of economic life economic development characterized by disruption and innovation and finally uh, the levers that uh, push and pull capitalism including credit profit and uh, interest these are all manifested in the business cycle which is one of the schumter's major contributions to the understanding of uh, economic growth and development uh, schumter was also the first economist to place the entrepreneur at the heart of the capitalism anticipating subsequent fascination with the entrepreneurship in popular business and uh, management writing he also lays the ground the groundwork for his subsequent highly influential idea of uh, the creative destruction characteristic of radical and rapid economic change he strived continuously to understand the fundamental elements in the explanation of economic fluctuations that is the business cycles from his theory of economic development which was published in 1911 until his monumental two volumes on business cycle published in 1939 and capitalism socialism and democracy that was published in 1942 he mainly investigated the ways growth and cycle dynamics communicate in a in short it is clear that for schumter growth and uh, cycle dynamics are mutually influencing a uh, creative destruction although certainly the most famous schumterian concept is also rather complex that is the outcome of a liquidation process and a reallocation of productive resources during a recession and particularly a depression phase main features of the theory of economic development the main features of schumter's theory of economic development include the following number 1 circular flow uh, the role of the entrepreneur uh, cyclical process or crisis also known as business cycle and the end of capitalism so we will now discuss these points or these main features of the schumter's theory one by one so far as the circular flow is concerned according to schumter in a circular flow from which we always start the same products are produced every year in the same way for every supply there awaits somewhere in the economic activities are repetitive it means that the supply and demand are in equilibrium at each point in time and the economy is in its stationary state the circular flow is based upon a state of perfect competitive economy which is in a stationary state and there is perfect competitive equilibrium 
the costs of the firm are equal to the receipts the prices are uh, equal to average costs there are no profits no interest rates no savings no investment and uh, no employment these are the observation made by uh, joseph shimter according to him this stationary equilibrium is characterized by the circular flow which continues to revive itself every year in the same system as the blood circulates in a human body as regards economic development shimter in his theory states that the development is a spontaneous and discontinuous change in the channels of the circular flow disturbance of equilibrium which forever displaces the equilibrium state previously existing these are the words of uh, joseph shimter uh, shimter's theory of development is the key element of a dynamic process that consists of new resource combination so called innovations and uh, technological changes when innovations are changes including economic social political and technical aspects take place in the economy the stationary equilibrium or circular flow is displaced and the process of development starts these features indicate that the circular flow is used in a static setting to make it dynamic and consistent with the tune of development changes must take place in the economic system these changes can be brought through innovations and technical uh, change innovations may be defined as a change in the existing production system introduced by the entrepreneur to make profits and reduce costs the innovation is clear, closely linked with shimter defined development as a spontaneous and discontinuous change as mentioned earlier in the channels of flow a disturbance of equilibrium which forever alters and displaces and displaces the equilibrium state previously existing the innovation may consist of the following aspects number 1 the discovery of new source of raw materials the presentation of a new product the implementation of uh, the modern method of production the search for new markets the creation of a monopoly or the establishment of a new type of industrial organization uh, shimter thus stresses the introduction of new products through the improvements in the technological and other economic and non economic resources uh, which causes economic development uh, the second feature of the shimter's theory of economic development is the role of entrepreneur as an innovator uh, entrepreneur is the key figure it is the key figure in shimter's analysis of the process of development because his model starts with the breaking of circular flow with the innovation in the form of a new product uh, the entrepreneur occupies the central position in the development process since he initiates development in a society and carries it forward uh, it is different from the functions of uh, a manager that is entrepreneurship is different from the functions of a manager a manager simply manages the affairs of an enterprise whereas the entrepreneur also takes a high degree of risk so the role of entrepreneurship is entrepreneur is uh, more important as compared to the role of uh, manager so the role of an entrepreneur has been glorified by shimter based on functional abilities according to him enter entrepreneur is to appreciate the possibilities of uh, innovation overcome the socio psychological barriers against the introduction of new things direct the means of production into new channels persuade the banker to provide him with necessary finance for innovations uh, induce other producers in his branch of activity for taking risks create an environment conducive to the satisfaction of wants as the normal motive a uh, provide leadership and finally to take a high degree of risk in the economic world so that is why in shimter's theory of economic growth 
uh, the role of uh, entrepreneur uh, is very important and uh, it plays a key role in the process of development. Uh, the third main feature of uh, the economic growth theory of uh, Schumpeter is the cyclical process or business cycle also known as a crisis. So, the next component of development according to Schumpeter is uh, the business cycle. His approach to the business cycle or crisis is historical, statistical and uh, analytical. He believes that business cycles are not merely the result of economic factors but also of non-economic factors. He concludes that uh, crisis is the process by which economic life adapts itself to the new economic conditions. He also believes in the existence of the long wave of upswings known as boom or expansion of the economy and the downswings that is depression or uh, trench or slum. Once the upswing begins, ultimately the economic forces of recovery comes into operation and brings about a revival. Once again, the economies come across new equilibrium and the new boom period starts. Uh, the other component of uh, growth process is the end of capitalism uh, in Schumpeter's uh, theory of economic development. Like Karl Marx, Schumpeter also believes that uh, capitalism is uh, self-destructive. He stated there is inherent in the capitalist system a tendency towards self-destruction. Those factors make not only for the destruction of the capitalist system but for the emergence, emergence of socialist civilization. Uh, Schumpeter agrees with the Marxian the thesis that capitalism has itself the seeds of its own destruction and ultimately it will come to an end. The very success of capitalism will bring about its decay. Three notice noticeable forces are the beginning of the creeping death of uh, capitalism which include number one, the decadence of uh, the entrepreneurial function, the disintegration of the bourgeois family and uh, the destruction of the institutional framework of the capitalist society. Uh, the, t the tendency towards concentration into big concerns weakens and destroys the twin institutions of private property and freedom of contract. So, according to Joseph Schimter, capitalism cannot survive, it will die in its own accord. It will ultimately give place to socialism. Uh, in a conclusion, we can say that uh, Schumpeter was uh, correct in saying that there is inherent in the capitalist a tendency towards self-destruction. Those factors make not only the destruction of capitalists but also for the emergence of a socialist civilization. Hence, Schumpeter's theory of development states that given the rate of growth of population, uh, the dynamic evolution of capitalist economy is determined by the rate of innovation, entrepreneurial talent and credit institutions. So, innovations appear a discontinuous swarms. Therefore, development occurs in cycles. The success of capitalism will eventually lead to its decay and uh, downfall. Uh, this was a brief uh, introduction about the theory of development by Joseph Schimter. Like other economic growth theories, there are also some, uh, some criticism leveled against the economic, uh, the, the theory of economic development by Schumpeter. And these include the following. Number one, uh, the role of innovator or the entrepreneur uh, has unnecessarily been uh, overemphasized. The second criticism leveled against the Schumpeter's theory of economic development is that the role of savings is ignored in this theory. 
although saving plays an important role in investment and in capital formation, but uh, due importance, importance has not been accorded to the role of savings. The third criticism means that uh, analysis of capital process is not convincing. Uh, number four, emergence of socialism uh, is, not, is not based on sound reasoning. Uh, number five, circular flow based on sales law of market is not in, the in tune with the development process which is dynamic one. Number six, analysis of uh, cyclical process is wrong. Schumpeter's view that the economic development is the result of the cyclical process is wrong. According to Narx, economic development is related to continuous changes. Number seven, uh, Schumpeter's theory of economic development has given undue importance to bank credit. Uh, innovation is not the main cause of economic development. So this is another criticism leveled against uh, the Schumpeter's theory of economic development. Uh, Schumpeter regards innovations as the main cause of economic development. However, this view is far from reality because economic development of a country does not depend on innovations only, but also on many economic and uh, non-economic factors including social factors. Finally, uh, little relevance for underdeveloped countries is found uh, in this theory. So, uh, there is no relevance of uh, this theory uh, to the situation in underdeveloped countries. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope uh, this was uh, uh, informative and uh, helpful for you. Thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe and uh, uh, not to forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get timely notifications about my other videos that I'll uh, upload for you.